Hi everyone, I'm calling this Check-In Tuesday. Today we're talking about productivity, managing multiple projects, and four amazing books to improve your life. Plus, something big's happening. Hi everyone, I'm in a slightly different place today, if you haven't noticed. Um, I'm Simon, this is Better Creating. It's my first vlog on the channel, and there's a very good reason for that. A couple of weeks ago, I did a video uh, which was lessons to learn from freelance life to make your career a bit better. Uh, and one of those which I shared was, you have to plan, you can never plan. And that was something my, a mentor of mine shared a little while ago. That has never been more true than this week. So I thought I'd drop in this little extra video this week. The reason I just wanted to drop this vlog in is I had planned a load of other great video content it's on productivity and all of that. I know a lot of people have been asking for that and thanks for your messages on it. But, well, a couple of things, projects, freelancing, all of that, but I'm moving house, everyone. So I'm gonna have to kind of manage my time a little bit because this is such a bumpy <laughs> bit. Um, I'm gonna spend a lot of time putting things in boxes. Right, so let me tell you a little bit more about some stuff around systems and productivity. Uh, maybe we'll go back home, maybe we'll do a bit outside. Uh, but let's just talk a little bit about, um, yeah, managing projects. Um, habits and systems uh, and ways of organising uh, your, your life. Again for the wind. Let's set you down. How's that? Can you see me? Hello? So, uh, yeah, I was meant to be um, filming stuff about habits, habit change, uh, creating systems um, and just giving you a bit of an introduction to the uh, notion system that I use I've been talking about it for a couple of weeks and uh, thank you to everyone who's commented um, about you know what you're looking for um, for the next videos um, there's been f some fantastic suggestions um, Lucy Ford thank you very much for your comment uh, really true I really recognize what you're saying so Lucy um, said she'd love to see a little bit more content about um, uh, how you manage multiple projects as a freelancer, as a creative, without becoming overwhelmed by them all. Um, I'm sure a lot of us recognise that. I definitely do. In fact, uh, that is exactly what the video I wanted to make this week was going to be about. But of course, things happen. As you know, loads of different projects have to move around. So let's talk a little bit about um, productivity and systems quickly today because, you know, I'm out on the sun. I've got a little bit of time just for a moment. Uh, this is just in between filming one of the other videos for the solo mobile filmmaking series. So. Uh, James Clear has written a brilliant book called Atomic Habits. So if you're looking for a little bit of reading or something to look at for a little while, that is a really fantastic book. Great bird making a noise over there. He talks about how um, we rise to the level of our goals and our aims. We fall to the levels of our systems. I have set goals, right? I had this idea and a really great um, plan and I'm thinking up um, content and researching to make this, this video uh, and then life's happened. And then I realised, oh, but actually, I am actually using those ideas because I've got a system, I'm using Notion to manage how I uh, plan and kind of uh, schedule all these videos, and it's really worked. It's meant that I've got a couple of other videos that I've already started to record that I just need to edit. I've made a plan, I've got a backup, I'm a little bit further ahead. So actually that system has saved my bacon. So if you've got the right systems in place, those are the things that stop you things dropping out the bottom and going completely wrong and uh, then us being kind of playing catch up and being overwhelmed by what we're doing. So that's one thing. Uh, the other idea, Lucy, I think that's really key and we'll go into way more depth on this later video, is is that idea of, um, uh, of having a second brain, building a system, a second brain that helps you control and manage uh, all the ideas and jobs and tasks and things you need to think about. If you're having to hold on to them, it's impossible to do. You know, we can't hold more than a couple of things in our head. And when we are doing that, we're not able to focus fully and be in the moment on the work that we're doing uh, the rest of the time. So if you can't hold on to those things, you know, it, you, are, you aren't able to manage them. So by building a system where you have a second brain, where you trust it and you trust it to regurgitate ideas to you, it means that, you know, you're going to be able to come back and uh, know that you can just focus in the moment on what you're doing. Uh, more on all of that uh, in a future video. I'm exhausted. I'm going to get home now. Okay, now 
I'm back home, uh, let me just show you. Well, I was trying to make that dramatic, didn't work at all, did it? Was that better? Uh, okay, so four books that I really recommend checking out if you're interested in upping your productivity, de-stressing your life, making a bit of progress as a creative freelancer or someone running a creative business. Talked a minute ago about um, James Clear, Atomic Habits. Let me just read you a little thing here. Um, a revolutionary system to get 1% better every day. People think when you want to change your life, you need to think big. But world-renowned habits expert James Clear has discovered another way. He knows that real change comes from the compound effect of hundreds of small decisions. I totally agree with that. Start from the bottom up. Small differences, small changes make a big difference. So he's quite interesting. I'm just starting on that. There it is. That'll be in the habit change video coming up. Boom. I've talked about this loads. You get the idea. Just get the book. It's blooming brilliant. Um, I mentioned this in a previous video. Um, this is Essentialism by... Um, Greg McEwen. There's a great podcast out as well at the moment that he's doing. I'm really rating it. Uh, he actually has an interview where he's talking with David Allen about getting things done. Really great. This, this movement of essentialism is growing everywhere and there's some fantastic insight and ideas about being more intentional with everything in your life from the creative work you're doing to the way you are finding happiness with your family and you know your non-work life. Um, I think sometimes as creators we can get too drawn into just the work. Um, what does he say here? He says, have you ever found yourself stretched too thin at home or at work? Have you ever felt both overworked and underutilized? Do you ever feel busy but not productive? Do you ever feel like you're constantly in motion but never getting anywhere? If you answered yes to any of these, the way out is becoming an essentialist. Listen, I'm not being sponsored or paid or promoted to talk about any of these. I just think uh, they're really helpful for creative people. So I just want to give you a couple of options until we can get into some meatier stuff on this channel. Uh, uh, final one, I've been working through this. This took me literally uh, probably two nights, two nights reading this in bed before I went to sleep. Um, it's called Do Disrupt, Change the Status Quo or Become It. Actually, it's a kind of a break, an essential breakdown of uh, knowing how to be strategic and have a business plan. It's really helped me set up a couple of projects recently. What I love about it is you, look, there I am. Can you see me there? You draw yourself. I did that. It's awful. I look like some kind of crazed, hairy person. Uh, you can get involved. Um, it does some really interesting things. So this thing about a tape measure is really interesting about your life. Draw where you're up to draw where you think you're gonna die, that's how much time, when you're gonna retire, and that's how much time you got left to do things, so get on with it. Um, that could be a little bit scary, couldn't it? But I found it to be quite liberating and quite clarifying, so check it out. So look, I wouldn't say I'm a massive advocate for self-development books, but they can be a catalyst to get things happening, and these four books I'm finding particularly enjoyable at the moment, so I thought I'd share them with you. Go! Probably broken them. Uh, right. That's the books. I think we're gonna go back outside. Thank you very much for joining me on my first vlog. Uh, it felt a bit weird filming outside, but it seems to have worked. Um, listen, you know what to do. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit the like button if you found this valuable or interesting or just enjoyed hanging out with me. Um, and you know, share these videos if they're of value to you with a friend who might find them valuable too. I would really appreciate that. Uh, right, okay, I'm doing a big kind of long sign-off thing. I'm just gonna stop. See you soon.